Right now, nine Grammys, 50 million albums sold worldwide. So no wonder Sheryl Crow's been honoured with a spot in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That happened last year. So going back a bit, she said her album in 2019 would be her last one ever. Fans will be delighted to know she's back with a new tour, new album as well. We're going to talk to her about that. What got her to change her mind? But first, here, here's a reminder of some of her brilliant hits. All I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. All I want to do is have some fun. I'm going to soak up the sun. I'm going to tell everyone to lighten up. The first cut is the deepest. Baby. And Cheryl Crow joins us now. Very good morning to you. Good morning. Nice to see you all. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm great. I, we just got here. I'm so excited to be here. Have you literally just got in? When did we you get in? We got in last night. Or well, yesterday. Last night, my time. But yes, yes. Okay. And you go straight out. You're 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 performing tonight. Yes, in Sheffield. Okay. Halifax. Yes. In Halifax. Halifax. Yes. And I go where they tell me. Yeah. <laughs> how, how are you just after all this time? Just really good with jet lag. I am. I sleep like a gosh darn baby. I mean, when I get on a bus or in an airplane seat, I'm out. So I wake up and I'm like, where are we going? I'm ready. That's perfect. I know. That's a superpower. I'm very lucky. It is a super We're obsessed with sleep on this yes. program for obvious reasons. Yes. Um, why did you change your mind? You said in 2019, last album, fans cried. They were devastated. <laughs> they were... There were rituals. <laughs> they took to the streets. <laughs> I don't know why I even open my mouth sometimes. Um, my... My feeling about albums is, and I still stand by that, is that albums as an art form, people don't listen to them like that anymore. You know, everything is streaming. I wind up on a playlist with I Spice and Zach Bryan. I mean, I, it's just very random. Um, and if you're someone like me who grew up with albums, like pouring over the album notes and, and producing myself, so I'm sequencing and like building a story and a travelogue, you know, you know no one's going to listen to it like that. But this record, because I was writing about things that were so uh, in my consciousness and on my heart as a mom, I went up with all these songs that were from a moment. And I called my friend, who's a fantastic producer, and I said, I have these little screenplays. Will you produce them? Make them into great movies. I don't want to hear what I would do with them. And I gave myself the gift of letting somebody take them and make them into just incredible little scenarios. So. Paint us a picture of you writing this stuff because you you live on a ranch. I do. I live in Nashville uh, on a farm uh, like 10 minutes from Starbucks. I mean you can only have that in Nashville and I would watch my kids go to school now that they're driving and I would take my coffee to the back porch with my dogs and a guitar and I would write and you know it's I don't know about you guys, I'm a little bit of an older mom and I remember life before cell phones and life before competing for your kids' attention and now we have AI and I just started writing about things that worry me about what they're inheriting, um, what's it going to mean to artists to what? be able to just like type in, I want to write a song that sounds like Bruce Springsteen and have it have these metaphors and have it cough it out to you, you know. What do they say to you about your fears? They say, Mom, you were born in the 1870s. <laughs> um, <laughs> they don't know anything different, you know. So, you know, when you sign up to be a parent, you, you want to guard their innocence. And it puts you in a position of being the police where you're, like, going on and seeing what they're looking at. And, um, what's and the, I don't have a place Cheryl, to go except for music. What's the style guide on that one, yeah. then? Lots of parents watch this program, yeah. and they'll they'll they will know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So what's what's how do you go about it? Um, well, you know, I am not a tech wizard. Um, 
it's funny. I told my kids, yeah, the reason I adopted you two is so that you could explain my telephone to me. <laughs> you know, they, um, they have all kinds of parameters. They didn't get phones until they were 13. They didn't get social media until they were 15. So my, my 14 year old is like, you know, what the, you know, why can't we have social media? Um, and I tell them, look, I get my feelings hurt. You know, I, I don't like going on and seeing what people say that's mean. Do you read stuff? Do I you, don't, I, I try not to. Um, I don't read reviews. That's been for me like 20 years. 20 years ago, I really started to take it personally. Um, I explained to them we're, we're, you know, we're humans and we have feelings and sometimes people go on social media and write mean things. They can be people that don't know you and also, do you want to go on there and see what people think are cool and compare yourself to that? Well, I so. suppose in their case, read about their mum, which mm, is, yes. it, you know, that's an added dimension, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes it is, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's listen to a little bit of your new stuff. Okay. Cheryl, that actually, when it comes to your music now, you're in such a good, comfortable place that you actually don't care what anyone thinks about your music. You're putting it out there and that's it. I haven't cared what people have thought for a while, only because, I know, um, that, that's sounds, great. that sounds mean. No, but it sounds great. I think there's a certain point where you kind of age out of being in the popular, you know, appealing to that demographic of like 16 to 32 or even younger. And at that point, you stop thinking about, well, do I have a single? Does it sound current? You know, all that sort of stuff that runs through your mind as an artist. For me, writing now is kind of a necessity. It's the place I work things out. And if no one ever heard this record, I would still be proud that I got it out of my system. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some, some artists get a bit sniffy about talking about their early work. Mm -hmm. We had your your song "All I Want to Do" mm -hmm. playing in makeup this morning, and it instantly gets people into a good place. It's one of those songs, isn't it? You used to love it. I have an immense amount of gratitude for that song because there was a time when it would be just so annoying to have to play it. But that song took me to Israel. It took me to St. Petersburg. It took me to Bogota. It took me all over Asia and. I watch people who don't even have English as a first language try to barf out those lyrics, you know, and there's a lot of words in that song. So I am grateful, you know, I have a whole um, body of work that people grew up with and it is a gift. And you know? you're a Bond theme. And writer. I'm a I mean, th I Bond think, girl. Oh yeah, exactly. I, do, I think there's no bigger accolade. Forget all the Grammy. Oh, that, yeah. that was an amazing and thing. That was an amazing thing. And that's in perpetuity. You know, once you're part of that franchise, yes. it's fantastic. Yeah. We were listening, we were, we were playing them all in makeup this morning. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an amazing thing to get to do the thing that you love and actually have it take off. You know what I mean? And I look at what's happening now with kids and getting popular at social, in, on social media and the branding thing. And I think I wouldn't be able to do that, you know? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and it's very personal. Um, you, I wouldn't be able to self-promote like that. Do you have, Cheryl, younger artists, and I think particularly maybe a female artist, yeah. who come to you as the wise old head, I use that very loosely <laughs> phrase. Uh, as the grandmother as, of rock and do roll. Do you have that happen? Oh, I do, and I do not take it lightly. I mean, I, I can without a doubt say that there are shoulders of women whom I've stood upon, from Stevie Nicks to Linda Ronstadt and, and Bonnie Raitt, and I have picked their brains and I've relied on them. To be able to hand that down um, is a gift beyond, you know. Um, and I find myself sounding like a mom or a grandmother you know, don't listen to what other people say. Stick to your guns, you know, demand your self-worth. And, um, and I look at what's, I mean, Taylor, who's bringing the economy up in Liverpool. I saw mm -hmm. that She's on your show this morning. She's caused an earthquake. Well, her fans caused you know, a little earthquake. You know, it's really a beautiful thing to watch young females now say, this is my worth. 
I know how to run a company. I know how to write great material um, and be a great role model. And so, yeah, it's wonderful. Wisdom, it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. Good Lovely thing. to see you here this morning. Thank it's you much for getting up guys. early for us this morning. Yeah. I know oh, you're performing this tonight. This is late for me. So. Okay, good. <laughs> Cheryl's new album, Evolution, is out now.